Rest of the Week with Dr. Gary. We're going to take a look at the worst wax removal we had this week. Look at that. This is the left ear. When this patient came in to see us, they felt like they couldn't hear on either ear, and they thought that their ears were totally plugged. Man, were they right. All right, we're going to use the curette here and see if we can't give this patient some relief. We're gently scraping that away from the wall and pulling it out, getting a nice chunk here. I don't think that's going to be it because this is a severe impaction. With each scoop of wax, I'm hopeful that I can see the eardrum and we can get closer to the promised land. It just doesn't seem to be happening yet. There's still a solid wall back here. I'm trying to figure out where to put the curette to help move that wax away so we can get behind it. Let's try along this left side here. This is going to be a nice big chunk coming out. Look at that. It all held together. But there's still a ton back there. I think this is the other half of what just broke off there. Yep, you can see how that was loose there. We're going to get that out. See if we can pull some stuff behind it as well. All right, back down we go. We're gonna see if we can't use the curette along the top wall here of the ear canal to pull that wax down and cause some separation and let us get another big chunk out. Anytime we have a patient who's this impacted, we generally will use the curette and then switch to irrigation at some point. The deeper you go, the more this can be uncomfortable. That's why we use the video system with our curette to make sure that you're staying as comfortable as possible. All right, we're starting to get to that point where we're thinking about irrigation as we're getting pretty deep in the ear canal, but there is a lot of wax left. We don't want to irrigate too early. We just find that it makes it more difficult to get the wax out. So satisfying to get that big chunk out of there. At this point, the patient has me in hysterics about how much is coming out of the ear. They've asked twice if they can take it home. Unfortunately, the answer is no. I'm not going to give that to a patient. We're still going, man. We just keep on digging. Obviously, this is not one continuous video from this wax removal. There's a bunch edited out with some more digging that was going on in between. So this is, if this video is, I don't know, 10 minutes long, it's going to be, it was even worse in the office. All right, we're gonna do some irrigation to see if we can't remove some of this wax, at least soften it up. Look at the color change in the wax. We went from that dry brown nasty color to this green color. I don't know which one looks better, but it's definitely a big change. We're gonna use the curette again along the top wall and see if we can't get this all to break off and move down. Very nicely done. Come on, get out of there. Get out. I'll tell you, that is so satisfying to get that out. Finish that big chunk off. Now look at that. Nice, clear, all the way down to the eardrum. Now the ear canal and eardrum are a bit irritated and red here, but that's to be expected with that much in there. To give you an idea of how much wax there was, this is next to a penny and a quarter. 
That is a huge amount of wax from one ear. Now let's take a look at the other ear. So this time we're in the right ear and as you can see the impaction is almost as bad as it was on the left. So a little bit of room on the top here for me to slide the curette back and see if we can't get some separation. We're going to go ahead and try that and hope that everything stays together and it comes out as one big chunk. Now it seems to be pretty soft, so we're not going to get it all out, but we are going to get a big chunk here. Come on, let's go, let's get it out. Beautiful. All right, back down we go. You could see a little bit of wax there at the outside, and then we looked past it to see what was beyond it. And there's more wax, so we're going to clean up the outside first, and then we'll work our way back. Alright, back in we go. Now you can see all this attached to the left side, the right side, and the roof. We're going to see if we can't break it free and get some space back there. Give this patient some relief. Given the consistency of this wax, I already know at some point we're going to have to irrigate this ear. So I'm just looking for a time to get enough out that I can actually stop and irrigate where we won't make things worse. Since this is the second ear, the patient really knows what to expect. And when we talk about doing irrigation, they were not as big a fan of the irrigation as they were the digging with the curette. But sometimes it is a necessary evil. As I was doing this wax removal, all I could think of was, wow, all those people that love to watch these videos, this was the patient for you. All right, here we go. We got it all pretty much away from the wall. We're gonna try again with the curette and then probably go to some irrigation. See if we can't get it all moving. All right, it's all moving really well. All right, let's do that irrigation. And look at that. Look at that massive color change again from that dry brown color to this green color. I guess it's more of a yellow green color. Let's get down there with the curette and see if we can't remove this. Again, this is so deep in the ear canal, we may actually irrigate a second time. Look, for the first time, I can see the eardrum back there. At least I got a little glimpse of it. Look at that, we can get all the way down there now. Let's see how soft this wax is. Come on. Oh, the curette goes right through it. It is way too soft. I've got nothing to grab onto with that curette. All right, we're gonna irrigate it again. Let's see what happens now. Look at that, there's the eardrum. A Little bit of redness back there, not too bad. The big chunk right here at the bottom, we're gonna go ahead and pull this out and then we should be done. We'll get to see in this ear exactly how much earwax we had. Look at that. There's the eardrum, a little bit of redness, 
and there is that wax from the right ear next to a penny and a quarter. Man, that's a lot of earwax.